Hi there everyone, welcome to my channel. In, in this tutorial video, we will solve another machine problem or programming assignment that is being sent to us by one of our subscribers named Marshmallow. Before we start, I would like to say thank you so much to all my viewers, supporters, subscribers in my channel. I would like to shout out Marshmallow, Sir Ernil, and Ma'am Rubilin. If you want to be shout out in my channel and then you like this video, put your name in the comment section of this video tutorial and then put shout out. So, if you are new with my channel and then you find my tutorial videos uh, useful, please hit the like button. Don't forget to share and then don't forget to subscribe in my channel. Okay, so we have here activity 3. No? This problem was sent to me by Marshmallow. You are tasked to write a Python program that will check the employee's office in years in service. Procedure. The user will input number for years float the data type in service in office assignment is tr for string use the details below to check condition and print the appropriate salary of the employee office it more than or equal 10 years the salary should be 10000 below 10 years should be 10 uh, 5000 accounting 12000 uh, below 10000 will be 6000 hr 15000 more than or equal to 10,000 in below 10 years will be 7,500. Save and upload your file in your respective Google Classroom using the naming format. Last name, first name, chapter 3, activity 1. Example, Alazar Noel, chapter, uh, Alta, Altazar underscore Noel underscore chapter 3 underscore act1.py. So we have here the sample, uh, sample of expected result is provided to you for your reference no so in the so for the first example employee name will be uh, atasar office accounting number of year seven because it is uh, below seven uh, ten years so the name will be no will be atasar office accounting years in service seven salary would be six thousand Another example, by this time, you know, will be Atazar was assigned in IT department or the Information Technology Department. The number of years rendered by Noel B. Atazar in this example is 10 years. So, we have here name, Noel B. Atazar, office, IT, years in service, 10, salary is 10,000. Okay. Uh, we have here, you now the code, no, that I wrote, no. So... Uh, we have here several comments here employees underscore payroll dot py basically i'm using py charm community edition no, in writing this program it is be written by yours truly no mr jake rodriguez from prada my it mit and then we have here two websites where you can download to uh, the free source code the first one is www.jakearpomperada.com and then the second one is jkrpomperada.blogspot.com and then right now i'm accepting computer programming job software development you can reach me at jkrpomperada at gmail.com and then the date of recording will be march 15 2022 tuesday at 3 54 pm and then my location is bacolod city negros occidental so we have here 35 lines of codes including the comment and spacing no print and then the title of our program employees payroll in python in this case line number 11 we are asking the user to give uh, enter your name str we store the variable to imp underscore name for the office str again max last key horizontal type for formatting office we have three types no id it accounting in hr years underscore service float number of years in service so to solve the problem is we are using conditional statement if else else in python if, uh, if office lower we convert no into lower case 18 years in service greater than or equal to 10 salary is 10,000 else f office is it also and then the years of service less than 10 10 years 5,000 in this line of code, if the office will be being entered by the user is accounting and then the years of service greater than or equal to 10, we have 12,000. However, if the uh, years of service less than 10 in the accounting, the salary of the employee will be 6,000. And then the last office is HR greater than or equal to 10 years, the salary should be 15,000. 
per month else will be 7,500 and then to display the name of the employee representing by m underscore name office we convert to uppercase and then years of service and then the salary and then in your print new line end of program which informs the user the program has been ended in print i will put a link in the video description so that you can download the complete source code for free in my two websites okay so let us check our program based on the reference that is being given to us by the teacher okay so noel b atazar noel b atazar okay in the first example the office is accounting we will convert this in uppercase no? number of years 7 enter name will be atazar office in uppercase accounting number of years 7 salary is 6000 end of program let us compare no? if we have the same result ok perfect we have the same result in this example ok Another example, by this time, si Noel B. Atazar will be in IT and then the years of service is 10 years. Enter employee's name, Noel B. Atazar. Uh, department IT, by this time, the number of years in service by Noel Atazar is 10 years. So, we have here, name, Noel B. Atazar, office, IT, number of years, 10, salary is 10,000, end of program. Let us compare, no? So, very clearly see, no? That we have the same result, no? On the expected output, no? Of the program. Okay? It's totally perfect, no? Perfect execution. Okay? So, this is the end of our tutorial video about employees, no? In employees payroll program in python programming language i will put a link in the video description where you can download the complete source code for free in my two websites thank you so much guys for watching if you like this video please hit the like button click the notification bell select all so that you will be notified with my newly uploaded video and don't forget to share and please support me channel guys by clicking the subscribe button see you in the next video tutorial guys this is your friend jake saying Bye-bye for now.